hello guys welcome back to my channel how are y'all doing hi this is ajima here again thank you for the new subscribers who have joined us it's really nice to have you on here and welcome to the family for the existing subscribers thank you so much for sticking around on today's video uh, it's a reaction video to diana equimi's um video that talked about people who live in abroad are liars Okay, I know the, the topic sounds a little bit <laughs> a little bit um, funny, but then my intention here is to react to the video. So this is a reaction video. Okay, so she gave a, a couple of um, points, I mean her own opinion. From my understanding, Diana Ikwemi actually schooled in the UK, so I guess she has an understanding of what it's like living abroad. But then again, being a student abroad and a student living abroad that has intention of going back home and one who's living there for the intention of making that country a home has two different perspectives okay um, some of the things she talked about I'm reading off my note here because I had some pointers here some things she talked about are skills required to succeed abroad um, some people abroad are not well are not the wealthiest okay so i completely agree with the thing she said this is not a video to go against her own opinion no i really did agree with what she said it was really a critical video so from my own point of view okay so let me give you a brief background about myself i have been out of nigeria for about seven years now i had my masters in the uk I realized that you know one pound is not easy to come by all right so that's that part and then i came to the u.s and it was a different ball game entirely. So what I would do is after now I'll shoot a second video, you know, detailing life living in the UK as against life living in the US. All right. So now you know the a brief background about myself. I'll just go ahead and give my own two cents about this topic. Living abroad, the the advantages of living abroad is they're, they're endless. I'm not going to lie to you. They are endless. One of okay. But then you have to understand that it's subject to the country you're living in. And first of all, my one, number one advice is coming to this country legally. If you're living here legally, then these advantages most likely will apply to you. First of all, you have the basic amenities. You have constant power supply. 24 hours, you have constant power supply. You have access to education. If you're a go-getter, you come here. It doesn't matter if you come in here and you start to do menial jobs, okay? You can, as far as your, your, your eyes is on the price, you can focus, save up your money, go to school, end your education, and get a very, very good job as far as you can prove yourself worthy, okay? You're entitled to numerous. Some of the things that I did when I was in UK, I featured in um, BBC London and BBC Scotland as an international student. Okay, so don't restrict yourself when you come here and say, oh, okay, you have to do some certain kind of job. Push yourself out. At least tell yourself that you tried. Okay, so like I said, the basic amenities is light, there is water, you can drive the car you want to drive. You can live in the house you want to live in, but these things do not come on the day you arrive. It can take you between two, three, four years. Okay, that's what happens. So when you plan on coming here, prepare your mind that you're giving two to three years of your life, okay, to settling in into another country. Understand that there's something called um, culture shock. Okay, it's not what you know back home in Nigeria where you live with your parents till when you were in university. That's when you finally get to leave. Some people don't even, even get to leave till they get married. Okay, when you're here, you pay every bill yourself. When you come here, if, you, if you're lucky and you find someone to live with for a, a period of time, it all depends on how generous a person is, live for a period of time, you will have to pay bills. This is not, oh, I'm living with family, oh, I'm living with friends. Bills don't come cheap here. You have to pay your bills. And guess, guess what? You have to work for you to get the money to pay your bills okay that um, entitled mentality that we have from back home that oh i'm living with family oh and all that stuff it has to just live it at the airport okay so if you work well you have your money you can pay your bills and live the kind of life you want to live all right these are still the advantages i'm telling you you can go to any school you want to go to 
okay so the, po the possibilities are endless that's the truth of the matter they are endless yeah. rent and rent is not cheap if you want to be by yourself or you want to live very comfortably I mean very comfortably in places like Texas and some other you know more affordable states you're going to be paying for a one bedroom for say for a 650 square feet okay just do the math go on Google and do the math by yourself okay for a 650 square feet you're going to be paying minimum of twelve hundred dollars that's a lot of money okay if you want to live in so-called luxury apartments but if you're going to live in in a regular apartment you'd be, any, you'd be paying say 850 700 now why i'm saying this is because you need to earn your money okay and now she raised another point that say some people abroad are not wealthy they are not the wealthiest because we have the basic amenities we have everything working for us okay we literally work and then pay bills so most people here well an average people they actually live comfortably they're not the wealthiest comparing to their counterparts in nigeria okay it's a cultural detachment if you've been here for say two three five years you realize that you become distant to the culture from where you're coming from that's why i encourage people that want you to stay here and you're able to go back home try to visit home as often as you can because there's a point you get to that a lot of things that people say from back uh, from nigeria actually doesn't make sense to you anymore okay the graphic i'm going to address this to our people in the late 20s and your early 30s who are looking to settle down not everyone wants to get married so but my opinion here is is get towards for the people who really who wants to get married especially the ladies a couple of my friends have said oh i want to relocate to the U to the u.s what do you think i should do what do you think i should do mind you this people in your early 30s I highlight the things for them. I tell them, are you willing to give the first two, three, maybe four years of your life trying to settle into this environment? If you're willing to do that, then why not? You're going to come. Which means that if you're coming here at age 30, before you fully settle in, before you fully sink in the lifestyle here, you're going to be 33, 34. It's not like Nigeria where you're walking on the road and there's someone checking you out, there's a car stopping for you, exchanging numbers and that. It's not like that here, okay? Because now you're trying to settle in, trying to get accommodation, trying to work and pay bills. You really do not really have time for social life. Some people are able to do it and that's fine. But for the most part, you are not able to actually socialize, okay? So you don't really get to meet people. Put that at the back of your mind. If you, if you are willing to settle two to three years, you know, putting a lot of things on hold, first of all, your communication with your family or your friends that you've left back in Nigeria might not be as strong as it was before because it's not easy here, okay? So there are the things you need to consider before you come to America. And I tell people, if you really don't have to, stay back because there are higher chances of you meeting someone in Nigeria. There's a higher chance of you okay growing your business in nigeria skills required to succeed so my own advice is if you're coming here okay have the necessary necessary skills which you require to succeed so when you come here try to go back to school okay very few people coming from nigeria maybe nurses doctors and all that just get and you know infuse into the system besides in the healthcare, if you're coming from the healthcare from back home you have to do a certification uh, pardon me you have to do an exam do your board and all of that it's not an easy road the one year one and a half year you're studying to do your board are you not going to feed are you not going to commute where's the money going to come from which means that you're going to be diverted your mind is going to be diverted because you'll be working and studying at the same time, if you do not have a focus, okay, how are you going to pass your education or your, your exams? If you are not focused, how are you going to pass your exams? And on top of all the stress, there's someone back home who is telling you, oh, I'm broke, send me money. Oh, I need to change my phone, send me money. Oh, my wife just gave birth, send me money. Oh, I need to do this, send me money. Are you understanding me? You're earning $2,000 a month. After paying your rent and your bills, your car insurance and all of that, probably you're left with maybe $200. And you're getting those calls every other day to send you money. And when you ask them the reason for this money that they're asking you to send them, 
Yeah, from, from, some, from very trivial things. Think about it. And to wrap this whole thing up so it doesn't get too long, like, because I commented on Dina Ikwemi's video and the responses I got, I'm like, this is not even my video. And I'm getting this much responses and this huge likes. If I get those many likes on my own video, I'm sure I would have grown a lot. Like, I was overwhelmed because it's a very controversial topic. You need to be really careful the way you advise people. If not, they'll tell you that you're an enemy of progress. You're the one who doesn't want them to succeed. Okay, so to wrap it all up, all right, to summarize everything I've been saying, it's beautiful to come here. You can have the life you have ever dreamed of if you live here and if you know what you're doing. The moment you come, have a game plan. In the next five years, this is what I want to achieve. Get focused. It's not going to be easy. It's not an easy journey at all. Depends on the people you meet. Another advice I'll give you, depending on the circle you're going to meet here will determine the path you're going to go. You need to ask questions. So when you come here, ask questions. There's an advice my uncle gave me one certain time when I was going to the UK. She, he said to me, when you're going there, please do not make friends with only students. Make friends with people who have graduated, people already working in your field, so you can have make an informed decision on what path you're going to go to. Okay, ask questions, ask questions, make friends. Okay, when you come here, if you're Christian, try to get yourself involved in, in the Nigerian church. So you meet your kind, people that think like you, people who have gone through the same journey you're about to go, go, to go through that can advise you accordingly, okay? Let me debunk something. Healthcare is not the only way to succeed if you come to, to America. I'm gonna speak for America. I don't know about any other country. Healthcare is not the only route to succeed in this country, okay? You can do so many other things. You can go into business. You can go, it's so many other ways you can succeed, but guess what? Remember the underlining word I said? It is a process. It is a journey. Be prepared to give at least two to three years of your life to learning the society, learning the culture, learning how those people think. They don't think like us. And if you cannot think like them, how are you supposed to interact with them? You need time to learn that. Okay? So once again, if you want to come here, all well and good, <laughs> you're welcome. All right? But my sincere opinion, if you know you really want to get married in your late 20s and your early 30s, my advice is this. Stay back home. Find your man whom you want to get married to. When you are married, then you can come. Because the pressure, they say, is very real over on this land. Okay, so thank you for listening and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I was able to shed my own opinion on this reaction video. Don't judge me. Don't come for me. This is just my opinion. It's not a generalized opinion. I'm not speaking for any other person who lives abroad. Okay. So thank you so much. Please kind of give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment. I want to hear your own two cents about this. Okay. Share. Give me your opinion. Please, please watch this video, share and comment and subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up. So until next time, I'd like for you guys to make it a great week. Okay. Bye.